All right. Going to do some normal runs here. Let's hit it. Serve the Diligent. Easy Arcus. And Spike Stateless. Ooh, sentient with uh, Wormkin. I would be open to. Hmm, only one Wormkin. Hmm. I was gonna say I was. I would be open to explosive, but with only one Wormkin, maybe not. There is a little bit of support with it with the restoring retreat, but if it's double awoken, is it just me? I swear, like pre DLC. The frequency of Forgotten Boons with the first magic was so much lower, and I feel like that was better. I feel like... I feel like it should guarantee both sides banners. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but... Yeah, whatever. Obviously, that'll never change, but... Yeah, whatever. Let's just see what our options are. I, I, I guess if it's... I was gonna say if it's Spikes versus Explosive, I'd take the Explosive, but... It is Sarah. Sarah of the Diligence, so probably Spikes still wins there. Alright, well, now we have a choice, actually. Cultivating would typically be the choice, but again, Spike's pretty good just specifically into the, uh, into Seraph the Diligent. Plus, there is that card that can double my buffs, so there's even that that I could do with Spikes. Cultivating is pretty good here, too, though, because it... Again, if I don't, if I only have one Wormkin unit, there's a world where I don't get offered scaling, and cultivating gives me that. Especially when I have restores and not root seeds, like I may be hurting for scalings. And uh, proclamation actually takes care of the downsides of early cultivate, and to some extent sting. So I think we just take cultivating. Thorn fruit into diligent. Root would have been interesting if I took spikes, but obviously we didn't do that. Alright, unit draft, we'll take it. Maybe I should have let that guy hit me, I don't know. Go up there. I guess we didn't really even need our top floor, like, literally at all. I literally killed everything with stings, echo breaks, and, uh, and proclamation. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Adapt. The chances of those getting a rare here is so low. But I guess that's, uh, not only is it going to give me a rare, it's going to pink it. But okay, at least we're getting a research sharp edge. I'll take it. It's a pink proc. Soul Siphon's interesting. I might take that, just speculatively. I know there's only... I got a Yen draft coming up, so... Wormkin stuff is a little bit more on the table. Pink proc is, is really good, but I already got two of them, even if they're not pink. I think this... Ugh, yuck. Three of the only Wormkin units that I don't like. Let me think about this. I don't think I need to take any of these, honestly. It's like... If I get either of the big three Awoken, they're way better than any of these. But... And, you know, I don't think there's any chance I can low roll on the Awoken 
banners here because even if I get uh, even if I get like hollows I'm restores so those are good either of them are good now the only question is is there a world where let's say I do get uh, a woken hollow as my only usable unit say it's say it's like animus of speed and awoken hollow obviously i take awoken hollow there and let's say there's no unit drafts here this unit draft doesn't have anything good and i brick here again you know i don't get any of the big three awokens when i say big three awokens i'm talking about both sweepers or animus of will those are the big three carries so if i don't get any of them then we'll want a kin host vessel so i may just take it even though it's immediately bad but at least then I have something to scale my, uh, you know, my Awoken Hollow can scale it. And if we find a better unit, that's fine. We just remove this piece of crap. So let's do that. And if you're thinking Bog Host uh, Cocoon would be good there, you're wrong. Trust me. I have had runs. I think I've even had them on, on record where I've literally had, like, Accelerated Incubation, three Soul Siphons, many of those intrinsic, and it's still can't get it done with bog host cocoon it is that bad of a unit it's only usable with martial lord in my opinion and i will hold to that quick and health okay we got the big three so we're just going to remove that thing question is do i take a sweeper or animus of will here uh now i will say quick is not very good with cultivating sentient so i'm probably not going to take it even though quick is typically what you might want with shattered shell um hmm. I'm leaning toward Animus of Will because I'm more likely to find either Husk or Shattered Shell at a future banner. And then Animus of Will goes pretty good into that. And if I do Brick on like... Animus of Will is also just a little more resilient to bricking these Merchant of Steels. Um, like if I reroll here, it's only a 1 out of 3 for Multi-Strike. And as we've determined, since I am cultivating Sentient... then we don't want quick. Now if I get a Awoken Hollow or a Keeper of Echoes or a Shard Soul Carver, we do, it just ends up not mattering, but still trying to hedge against those. I think I take the Anos Will. Add the health for sure. I'll reroll for uh, multi. All right, no multi. Now I could take the large stone if I just want to commit to sentient. Considering I have a razor sharp edge, I might be able to do that. I might be able to justify that. It still makes it though, so if I then shard soul carver infusion would be tough. Um, what are the other steels looking like? This one's horrible. That one's very horrible. This one also kind of is iffy because it's wormkin, so trinket's actually pretty good. And the final one's really good, but that's it. That's way too long to just like hold out for upgrades. So I think for now I'll just add Echo Stone to this. I don't really care about if I brick on anything else, and I don't. Care. The egg is just out of here. There's no world where this egg actually gets kept, so I might just remove it right now. Why not? Yeah, we'll remove that. Um, do I take this money? I obviously don't need it coming up, and I may want to hit this. I don't think I take this money, then we'll just fight. Take the money here. Mark of Invasion. See, this is why we want to remove the egg, because, you know, 50-50, roughly, I might get egg here, and then that would be annoying. All right, they're all dead. I don't even think I sting them. We should sting this. Take that out. I don't know. Okay, they're all dying, so that's fine. I 
like no matter what they're dying, right? Yeah. Put the damage there. I don't know. If they're all dying, let's see, one, that's Soul Siphon getting us value right there. Obviously, early on, the Animus Will is going to be way better than the Shattered Shell, which is also another factor. If I take this, I can much. I, th I think I'm. I can pretty comfortably say that I'm going to um, be able to just use Animus Will plus Sentient. Like, I don't even really need to think about much else. Uh, this would be nice to have as a heal, however. I, I already have the restores. Like, if I really need big heals and I brick on the uncommons and the rares. Um, I will just, like, add damage to the, uh, the restores, and that should be okay. Uh, I could transfer as well. We definitely got enough scaling. <clears throat> it's actually a bit of a tough choice. Um, because, again, the, the Wormkin artifacts are so good, but, and I don't necessarily have an incredible Hellvents. If I do Hellvent... Right now, I would say it's on the razor sharp edge. Maybe, maybe the echo transfer. I do worry that I can't play the echo transfer enough, though. That would be my worry. And I don't know. I would still like to find a shard soul carver infusion. I think that would be pretty good on the animus here. Um, this says guaranteed value. This might have just no value. Let's just go for the guaranteed value. Spell chain and pierce. Let's take a look here. There's a sweeper. It's probably the only combo where you're not like that excited to see a clear minder because it's like, well, the Awoken has better sweepers. Um, all that being said, because I have the NMS of Will, it, it goes into the glare minder quite well. And it's not like this is... Like at that point, glare minder, from here on out, sweeping will be better. And it'll just already have a guaranteed multi-strike. It has a little bit of upside if I get a... You know, I have one consumable right now, but I might get more. I uh, definitely have a bunch on uh, Diligent. I think I could take it. I just don't know if I, like, fuse it at this point. I think I'm actually just going to self-infuse my Animus because I have so much scaling right now. Um, and actually, that's like a, just a better Hellvent target. Now, if I get times 5, do I care here? Probably not. I don't have any good spell chains, really. Mm, trample could be okay. <laughs> Two more soul cards and that. Honestly, though, I can play this as a zero cost pink, so it's worth taking, and it can just give me some damage here and there. I I have reasons to to care about pink when I have this echo transfer, but we're gonna self infuse. I think just now. You know, I know there's a ch well, I don't know. I could self infuse here if I need to, actually that Hellvent. My thought is if I Hellvent now and self-infuse, it's a waste if I get offered like an Animus of Will right here or here. Yeah, I guess let's just... And I can... 
I can Hellvent here, the Animus. It just sucks if I get a better Hellvent target, but I think overall just Hellvent the Razor Sharp Edge here. And we won't do anything else, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could, like, make one of these. I, I, I'm probably not keeping the procs, I don't think. I could make a this pierce. I don't think that's really worth my shards here. Just keep the shards low for now. We'll gain power more and more. As more and more enemies get on the screen, the more powerful that this gets. I think we want these to hit us. I'll even do this. This is why I didn't uh, hellvent the echo transfer. It's like I, I'm often not going to be able to really play it. Don't really want to ember drain myself here. Let's just do this, I think. I actually think the restore here is like the most important, probably. Got him. Then the spikes pay off, but there's obviously no pay for payoff for it here. It's probably just a rail spike. Remains, I don't know, doesn't really do that much for me. As much as I like that card. So the other thing, we we do get the Sergeant Soul Carver and the Keeper here. I just don't know if this deck has ended up in a in a situation where just self-infusing the uh, Animus isn't just better. It's not a very Wormkin deck, I would say. Like, most of the card offerings have... Actually, I, honestly, every single draft I've taken has not been pink, other than the Cavern. Yeah, literally everything else was not pink, so... If that continues to be the trend, which is unfortunately always a problem with Wormkin, it's the main downside of the clan, even though I do think they're the best clan... Um, I think given that I actually don't think these are even though I want these were things I wanted I found them too late and to pivot my deck more toward pink stuff just doesn't make sense to me at this point so I'm just going to skip those and then hopefully we find the animus of will when we go left up here I don't know if the thorn fruit that I really need the uh, draw especially when I just added an awoken's rail spike I haven't been able to play all my Ember anyway, so I think it's an Ember upgrade. Minus two. Hold over. Okay. Okay. There is a world we take the shell here and just put the Animus into it. Do we care about that? Let's 
strongly would have preferred a husk. Shell runs the risk of just having low health until I get to the steel, which is at the very end of the map. Um, I think we just skip. I will just do my hell vent where I need it. It's fine. So I could hold over a razor sharp edge. Which I think is okay. Um, minus two here, if I get a remove consume, is something I might do. We'll see. Can I afford to remove consume? Because this is max gold. That brings me down to 240. And I almost certainly play this. 40, we're down to 180 already. And then I'm down to 155. We're still able to afford it then. I just. And even if I get this, that would bring me to 1. 30. So I can buy all of these in reroll and still be fine. So we'll do that. Let me double check my math here. 25 brings me down to 190. Brings me down to 130. Yeah. Do I need the surge stone though? I don't think I really need it. Am I using money coming up? I'd rather hold out for another Ember upgrade. Hey, we got it. Alright, we'll do the minus two there. Um, or I could do a ten on one of these, since I haven't been getting offered the plus thirties, and I don't have a big heal yet. I may never get one. I actually think the ten here is warranted. I took an Ember upgrade, so... Uh, maybe the, the Ember of Stone is less needed. Now this comes back to like, if I had just Hellvented the uh, Animus earlier, this would have been an incredible Hellvent target. But eh, it is what it is. I don't think we need Intrinsic on anything. Could have put it on the, the Soul Siphon, I just don't think we need it. Alright, if it's a Stealth Boss, I think we're fine with just cultivating Sentient. Right, hopefully we're able to get to our shard count. So if I will have 15 there and 10 there, so I'll go to 50. I just need fit, and then I'll have 25 here. I just need to come up with 25 other shards at the next two temples. It shouldn't be too hard. Could also just self-infuse the remaining stewards. You know, if the next temple. Well, I, I got yeah, I got a gap here until the final temple. After that, is this too bad? The extra damage? I don't think so. Do I need to set up bottom? Eh. Maybe mid. I don't know. I mean, if I don't get my razor sharps in time, eh, just set up top. It's fine. Sucks a little bit, but what can you do? What can you do? I'm gonna do this so that I can proc that and kill that. Do this. Hit. Hit. Pink. Probably no world where I can kill that. Yeah. I could triple razor sharp edge it. I'm not that dedicated to killing it. I think I should not take that amount of damage. 
This seems like something that I should not do. So far, the Ember upgrade is definitely the right call. I should not take that damage either, right? No, but I can just do that. Couldn't see that I had an Echo Break. It was, like, obscured. Try to kill the back line here. I guess I technically can, and I think I should. Yeah, I don't need a drop grade, I don't think. Alright. Oh, he's dead, so let's just let it happen. Boom. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, look at what's pink compared to what's actually takeable here. I think I made the right call not taking the uh, Keeper of Echoes and stuff. Um, I think I take the Focus Growth. That plays better into the Remorse. Plus, I need Big Heal, as we've mentioned. Soul Crushing Guilt could be okay. It is pink, so it's less, you know... I think even in a very bad Wormkin, you know, deck that's very bad on the Wormkin skew right now, a pink Soul Crushing Guilt is auto take. Alright, Spell Chain Intrinsic. I mean, I have a Restoring Retreat. It's not the worst uh, thing in the world, honestly. I need to make it 25 shards. Is there anything good to spell chain? Uh, I don't think so. I could do the soul size so I find if I want to like make sure the other two floors get filled with pink, but and that could be okay for the soul Christian guilt. The procs, as good as they've been, I don't think they're la gonna remain in the deck. I mean, I'm honestly thinking of removing them right now, especially since I have the other stuff here. Intrinsic also is like just whatever. Like I'm not overstacking or anything in this combo. Everything's very vertical instead of horizontal. Animus is a er, uh, Awoken is a very vertical clan. I think because potential stealth boss, I don't mind keeping the two stewards around. I think I think I'm getting rid of both procs, honestly. I think now that I have a soul crushing guilt, I do not have space for these proclamations. I think we're going to have to find our 25 shards elsewhere uh, at the final temple. Yeah, probably just at the final temple. Um, yeah, because I just don't do anything for me. I don't know. It is a stealth boss. It is sweeping troop. I got 60 health. I think we can do it. Multi strike helps me in a way. Just helps me scale faster. I was hoping with the lower shards that this shit wouldn't happen, but sure. Um, I may have to dedicate 100% of my damage to this, unfortunately. I think it is the case. Right, we're bricking on all three Razor Sharp Edges and, I guess, the Echo Transfer and the Awoken's Rail Spike. 
So that's pretty cool. I think we're gonna have to scale here instead of the other alternative. But I think we'll be fine. Our deck has been built, so it should be relatively low roll proof. Wow. Bottom nine for three, like like four of my best cards. At least I got this one, though. I guess, do I want this to hit me in this case? I should keep those for uh, Stealth Boss. I don't want to take the 18 here. I will take the 12. Alright, they're dying. Let's put all energy into this. Not the best. Not the best. Whatever, though. At least we got a ton of offense. That's good, at least. Forgot that I removed my procs, so this guy is going to be an issue. Definitely can't afford to let that thing get me. I guess I could just... Uh, I mean, we're, we're going to draw into pink here. I was going to say, like, I can just... Uh, Soul crushing guilt that this is why we take the card. All right, we need a big heal here. Yeah, we need you to be at full health. Now I need to start stacking regen. So we got seven stealth, that'll be six. I'm I'm hoping that's enough. Here we can do the big heal here at that juncture. Yeah, looks like we got him. And we can even do that for extra killing. <clears throat> Boom. Yeah, we probably take another Ember upgrade then. Now this is an interesting one. I think with the Wing Steel, and the fact that I already have one of these, it's actually awake here. And once again, by the way, once again, the worst card easily is the pink card, but just further justifying my actions on this run. Awake, because honestly, like, I may want to stack a little bit of regen. And it's a bigger heal, and I'm going to be taking an amber upgrade. Uh, okay, pink force contam is fine. Ancient resonance is not horrible either. Pretty sure it's the contam, though. Resonance would be pretty good in the diligent, though. Oh, yeah, take the, the, this, yeah. Wish it was pink. We'll go to the right here, especially since we already have our slots filled. And clippings we don't want. Bruce Flip Mask is probably what we take. It's really good. We happen to get the only two good Awoken Artifacts. Okay, three, I guess. I mean, Curse is fine. There's no problem with it. Prior's Cloak is horrible. Don't want Cheater's Hand when we have Steel. Quill is like okay. I'm just gonna take this. I mean, I still have reasons to want a little bit of pink cards. And rerolling here is probably not worth. Cresco would still be very welcome in this deck. Alright, this should. We, we top decked this, so that's really good. This is why I took the vine grass, by the way.
or not the fine grass, but you know what I mean. The uh, vine grasp generator. All right, I think I think we do this. Echo break, not too bad with the uh, with this combo, huh? Should've done that first. Whoops. I'm letting him hit me as much as possible because I can heal all this back. I mean, I might as well just take as much uh, scaling as possible here. Underestimate Marcus. I'll do that first in the right order this time. Two twenty-seven by four probably gets the job done. Just a wild guess. Just the wildest of guesses. But you can never be too safe, can you? We need to get awake's cost down. I'll be honest. If spreading spores was pink. I would probably take it here. But, uh, yeah. This is a brick and a half here. I don't think an unpink spreading spores is really going to be worth adding. The awake is just going to do better things. And ember. <clears throat> Low value hell vent, I think. I don't know, though. I could... It, to be honest, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here, but I'm not gigantically in need of removals. Most of my cards are fine, and caverns could be okay. A lot of the good caverns aren't that good for me here, like the pip-related ones I could care less about. Even the ember one at this point isn't that needed. Um, reducing awake is the main thing that I could benefit from here. But if I just get, I kind of want to hellvent the uh, the Wilkins Rail Spike. I think that that's on average going to be better than anything I can do on the left side. Yeah, let's just do the Rail Spike. 
Especially with my second Ember upgrade here. Where are you? Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Now we only need 15 shards. Love it. Spikes. Ooh, this is kind of tough. I mean, it's a really hard boss. It's like a lot of incoming damage, and my backline clear. I mean, I have the resonance, so that should be a pretty good there, but other than that, my backline clear is, is a little little rough. I got the soul crushing guilt. The thing is, I, I'm just thinking, like, can I spare heals? Because I'm going to have to heal Animus of Will here with my. I only have really three big heal cards, and one of them ain't that big, which is Restore. We have kind of bricked on that regard, but... I mean, we haven't fully bricked there, but, you know, Unleash obviously would be better. Unleash the Wildwood. I don't know, I feel like the spikes could be a throw. We don't need the money, so let's just not do it. That seems like one of those plays where you just throw away your win. Go for the five here. Wait, I didn't get two pink cards that through that whole sequence? Really? I just assumed I would have. Apparently not. Uh, let's kill one of these. We should be actually. I, I forgot that I have the. Uh, you know, because I have the curse vines plus stings, I probably could have took this trial. I honestly didn't really factor that in. Could have also killed uh, killed this, but I'm just focusing on. I don't know. I feel like. You have to recognize at some point when you're good enough to win the game and to not take unnecessary risks, and even killing the collector there could be considered a risk. I could say. I could argue. I'm really going to try to reduce my damage taken. I just don't think I have the ember right now to, to deal with some of that. that turn. Draw five. Hmm. Draw four. Starting to look a little bit better. And then the wrong order. I somehow didn't get a single Shade Wings uh, upgraded as well, so this fight's going to look a lot easier than it could have been. I, my, but might I remind you how much damage an upgraded Shade Wings does? At 85 shards, there easily could have been several of them upgraded. It just happened to not be that way, so that's another thing that I was kind of trying to factor in. This is quite literally the lowest incoming damage possible, and I'm still barely able to keep Sentient alive, so... Uh... I guess the long story short is, I think I made the right calls. I 
I don't even think I'm gonna use that. We do need to like focus a bit of damage to this. Got the ancient resonance most likely coming up, so let's see. Yeah, for sure it's coming up, and then we can just do that. Could have done more damage if I started with that, but whatever. It's just five. These stings actively make my Woken Rail Spike quite a lot worse, <laughs> you know, as I, as I think about it here. Maybe it wasn't worth my Hellvent. The ILC hasn't given me a massive amount of value. It's still, like, worth it, though. It's still pretty good. Probably also be better if I had reduced the cost of some of these. Do I want Pyre Grow or Focus Growth number two? Probably Focus Growth number two, honestly. It is pink as well. Uh, returned Soul, pretty good here. This could allow me to get rid of a lot of those stings. It would be a good spell chain target. If we go left here. Could still get Pyrestone Housing. Okay, we have somehow not gotten any of the good Wormkin artifacts. And we won't get any. So Pyrestone Housing is on the menu. Not for this shit. Okay, for that shit, I will. For that shit, I will. And even though we got the stings to plus 20, it's like, rah, you know, it's, it's whatever at this point. I'd much rather just get an extra strike. All right, plus 30. Okay, Pierce definitely goes on this, right? Absolutely. And uh, I'm gonna do 30 on... I wouldn't mind it on one of these restores, honestly. I'm just spreading out, like, my hits. I still have these stewards, huh? I think the, this just goes to removal, though. What to remove? Sting. I mean, honestly, a steward, but we'll have the thing here. Yeah, get rid of steward and a sting. And hellvent. I think it still goes on this, even though we've determined it's not necessarily the best. I think it's still like okay. Just zero cost out my deck. Should be a win. Just to make sure I'm not drawing more than nine a turn. Should have actually consumed the sting, but oh well. I do want to kill that guy in the back, so let's go there. Uh, 
I should have drawn eight, because now I can't kill that. Oh well. Is there any world where I can kill this? There's definitely a world where I can do that to it. So why don't I go... So one, two... Yeah, so we'll go... Here, here, here. So I could kill a few of these. Kind of want to kill that though. Yeah, let's do that. The killing of my draw just needs to, uh, gosh. I kind of do wish I got the uh, Firestone housing. Risking it a little bit here, but I, I can cultivate my guy a little bit, so that's fine. Hmm. I think given this hand, I'm going to consume one of these. Just a better use of my resources here. Try to get my ascension back up to full health now. I think I definitely made the right call on, on getting the heals kind of spread out there. But... Okay. Fucking thing. I don't know, do I want to draw more? Because, like, I keep not playing my big heels. I'm going to risk it still. That's a good heal. That's good.
I was starting to get a little bit worried there. Honestly, like... Sentient is dying here. But it looks like with this, coupled with the heals, actually we survive. But still like a little bit close, huh? That's why you never want to overestimate your power, especially against Diligent. And even going back to the earlier thing on like, well, I could have got 400 extra gold, but what would have 400 extra gold really got me? Like, a, a useless artifact, or... I mean, I guess a few more damage on my stings would be the what I'm looking at, or just like maybe two more removals. It's not like... And I could have taken a lot of higher damage. I could have just died, too. Like, Now, do we want to go top here? I may argue mid, because I'm... Not having to spend heals on Animus of Will, even though I can obviously, uh, I don't know, the Root Split Mask. You know, I can, I can just, I can just daze Divinity. That's fine. I think we still go top. Just gotta make sure I don't accidentally kill my dude here. Eh. Awake just does not find any good spots for me here. <clears throat> Gotta focus on getting the cultivates up here. Hmm. As long as I don't die from that, I think we want to go here. So we'll go like this. Oops. Fucked that up. Should have drawn one less there. I need that vine grass to. Okay, never mind. I got that. That's that makes it all good. I don't actually need to get echoes here to do what I needed to do. I just needed to kill those things, so that's fine. a much easier fight than Diligent, because I'm allowed to actually draw through my stuff, even with that thing. I may want to just daze it. Yeah, let's just daze it. Do need to make sure that I clear these waves out though. There's a lot of health I gotta get through. Oh yeah, we're fine. 420, nice. Well, we're gonna change that. Draw 
Probably should be just still tapping myself with these, but I don't know. Could have done that more efficiently, but I just don't care. Could have maybe uh, hell-vented the Ancient Resonance instead, especially when I see turns like this. Should be fine. I'm gonna play it all out here. Really? I don't have. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's like, where is my shit? Oh, two dead weights. Sweet. Two dead weights. Well, you know what? Fuck you two. You're dying. Alright. So, as you can see, um, I think we did the right calls here. There is obviously a Wormkin line to be had on this run based on the boss draft, the Daedalus draft, but I think given all the pink cards that showed up, we made the right call. We gotta take some pretty bad cards to uh, make the Wormkin stuff work, and we would have had to speculate. I took the things that were guaranteed to be good with with what we had seen at the times that, were, that they were taken, or the times that they were given to be taken. Yes, something like that. So... I like that run because it just seemed like a very reasonable run. It wasn't like cursed, but it also really wasn't that high roll, really. I mean, there was there was good stuff on it, but it's a run where you could easily, at many points, think you're stronger than you actually are, for sure. But yeah, you can have some fun with that one. What name will it generate? Tubes blank oxygen. I got nothing for that. Other than it does sound a little gross. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.